In this video, we're going to talk about how you can design your Power BI reports with accessibility in mind. We're going to look at some of the built in features that are ready and available for you to use in Power BI and also how you can incorporate accessibility in mind when you're designing your reports. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So if you're working with Power BI reports, especially with a large audience, it's important to keep in mind the type of users that will be using your reports and their physical impairments like vision, color blindness, or even motor impairments. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to build specialized tools for them to use your reports, but rather to think about a universal design which allows as many users as possible to get insights out of your reports. There are four different senses to think about when designing accessible Power BI reports. There's motor, cognitive, hearing, and visual. And for Power BI reports, there are currently no native way for you to play audio or video within the report themselves. So we can exclude hearing from the senses that we're going to cover today. The first one I want to talk about today are the motor impairments, which prevents your users from using a mouse such as RSI or Parkinson's disease. Keyboard shortcuts and navigation is a built in feature available in Power BI. On your keyboard, for example, if you click tab, it will give you some options like seeing the shortcuts menu for the keyboard. You can also choose to skip to the main content, which allows you to interact with the Power BI report using your keyboard shortcuts. So you can use tab or the arrow buttons to move between different visuals. In combination with the arrow buttons, you can also use the enter to select values in your visual. So in this case, we can use this uh, arrow buttons here along with enter to select a filter slicer in this page, for example. You can use escape to go up a level in the visual layer in your page that allows you to move even further within your report. If you're using multiple visual elements in a page, you just want to make sure that you're organizing your elements in the tab order under the selection pane to make it easier for your users. So think about the logical organization of your visuals that you want your users to interact with in a keyboard and hide any cosmetic elements from this tabbing element. So in terms of report design for those that are partially impaired, so basically those people who can use a mouse but not as precisely, you just have to give enough space between your interactive elements to accommodate for these. So for example, instead of having 10 different charts in a page, you can instead split them into two pages uh, with five visuals each to give enough space between each of them. And this is not just an accessibility tip, but is a tip in general, as it helps improve the readability of your reports, as well as its performance. In Power BI, we have a lot of options to incorporate data or insights within tooltips themselves. However, when you're thinking about accessibility, you might not want to think about using tooltips to give information to your users, as those with motor impairments won't be able to use them without a mouse. Another option that you have is to opt for reports that have minimal interactivity. I've built one page reports before that laid out information to my users without filters and slicers, making it easy to use even for those not familiar with Power BI. The next one that you might want to think about are cognitive impairments which are disabilities that prevent your users from focusing on certain information like autism, for example. In these cases, it's all about keeping a simple and consistent design. In terms of shapes or images, you want to keep them to a minimum so they're not too distracting from the information you're trying to convey. If you're using the play axis custom visual to cycle through elements, you want to make sure that it's not on autoplay when you open the report. And if you must use this custom visual, you have to let your user choose to play instead so it's not too distracting for them. 
page design elements like logos, filter slicer placements, or even chart titles and legends should be consistent across your report. This way it makes it easy for everyone to quickly get the information they need without being too distracted with all of the design elements in your page. The IBCS standards actually covers this in great detail and it's a great handbook that explains how to communicate insights better. So if you haven't seen or read it yet, I highly recommend that you do so. And the last one that I want to cover are visual impairments. So users that have low vision or even color blindness. Since Power BI is very much primarily a visual medium, they provide a lot of built-in features to support these impairments from simple features like being able to zoom in and out of a page, giving you a better view of your visuals. On a lot of the visual elements, you have this option on the top right hand side called the focus mode, which allows you to expand on these visuals one by one, making it easy to dissect the information on each one of them. As a report developer, you also have the option to fill in what's called an alternative text on each of the visual, which describes what the visual is to those who are using screen readers. And you'll find this option under the visualization format pane. If you're using Windows, you have access to something called the narrator, which announces elements that you interact with as you click around, making it easy for low vision users to easily interpret what they're doing. In terms of design, bigger fonts or using titles and markers can really help with making your reports more readable. When you're using colors, you wanna ensure that there's enough contrast between your background and the text that you use to make them easier to read. You can use several tools to help you with this, like this site, accessiblecolors.com, which checks that your contrast between your font and your background is compliant to the WCAG 2.0 guidelines, which are just the standards that we currently have for accessibility. Another useful site that you might want to use is one called VizCheck, which simulates how the colors that you have in your palette looks like to those with different types of color blindness. And that's really it for this video. I hope you're now a little bit more familiar with designing reports with accessibility in mind. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for the next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.